Are you sure? Oh. Can anybody guess? Who knows? What's what? Oh. Boo! What book is this? Lucy Goose! Well done, it is Lucy Goose. Should we read this one together? Now remember, when it's time for the roaring, you have to do a really loud roar, okay? You can do it really loud because you're at home, okay? You're going to give mommies and daddies and daddies a fright. You're going to give your grown-ups such a big fright. Oh, my goodness. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. Lucy Goose. Lucy Goose lived all alone in a house on the very edge of the woods. As far as she could remember, she had always lived by herself and had never met or spoken to another animal of any sort. Look, she's all by herself doing all her gardening. Oh dear. One day, I think it was a Tuesday, Lucy was in her garden, watering her carrot patch. When out of a dark lump of trees came a wolf and he tiptoed right up to Lucy and said, go loud. Oh dear, oh dear. I'm sorry, said Lucy. What did you say? Rawr, said the wolf again. Rawr, said Lucy. Puzzled? What? Well, just rawr. You, answered the wolf, you run away and I chase after you, but first I go... Rawr! Oh, don't be silly, said Lucy, with a nice little laugh. I'm not doing any of that. You seem very nice, like a big woolly sausage. Perhaps you'd like to come in for some tea and cake. No, 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 grumbled the wolf, turning around and stomping back to the woods. I can't eat cake with a goose. Oh, this is not what's supposed to happen at all. And then he was gone. Oh, he's a bit grumpy, isn't he? Show me your grumpy face. Let's see your grumpy faces. Grumpy faces. Oh, grumpy faces. Let's see what happens next. Lucy thought about the wolf for a little while. But soon moved on to the very important business of picking strawberries. <gasps> Just then, out of a dark clump of trees came an enormous bear <gasps> and said, Rrr! Beg your pardon, said Lucy. Roar, said the bear. This time with some extra nail waggling. Show me some nail waggling. I see, said Lucy. I'm very sorry, but I'm not very good at being scared. Right, I'll roar again, said the wolf. Uh, said the bear. You can scream and run away, yes? No, thank you, said Lucy Goose. You seem very nice, like a comfy winter coat. You're quite welcome to come inside and have some tea and cake if you'd like. No, 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 grumbled the bear, turning around and stomping back into the woods. I can sit, I can't sit and drink tea and cake with a goose. This is not what's supposed to happen at all. And then he was gone. Look. Oh, can you show me your stomping, marching arms like this? Oh, 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 oh. grumpy, grumpy, grumpy. He's not very happy, is he? No. <gasps> uh oh, uh oh. Oh, are you ready? Are you ready? Lucy thought about the bear for a little while. She even thought about the wolf, but before long she had moved on to the very important business of picking some 
flowers. Are you ready? Just then, out of a dark clump of trees came a lion, <gasps> shaking his head and making a very cross looking face at the same time. Now you can do it really loudly. And he said, Rah! Oh, Gregorio, that was a good one. Well done. Good boy. Oh, no, said Lucy Goose. Not another one. The lion could not remember anybody not running away from one of his very best roars. It's all right. I know what you want, said Lucy. You go roar, I run away, and you chase after me, but I'm not scared. Everyone runs away from lions, said the lion. Now then, shall I roar again, and we can start from the beginning? I'm sorry, lion, said Lucy, trying to be very helpful. You're the first lion that I've ever met. And you look very nice, like a fat, <gasps> old, <gasps> carpet. A fat old carpet. Look at the lion being a fat old carpet. Uh-oh. <gasps> Uh-oh. Uh Why don't you come inside and have some tea and cake? No, 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 thundered the lion, turning around and stomping back to the woods. I can't sit having tea and cake with a goose. Oh, this is not what's supposed to happen at all. And then he was gone. <gasps> uh oh. Lucy thought about the lion for a while. But she went on and thought about the wolf and the bear. Why she wondered was everybody trying to scare everybody else? Hmm. Oh. <gasps> Just then, out of a dark clump of trees came a, who can you remember, a goose. Goodness me, said Lucy, you're not going to shout rah, rah, rah at me, are you? Uh, no, uh, um, uh, uh, you see, I'm just, I'm just a goose, uh, the same as you. Hi, uh, Bruce. Uh, Br Bruce the Goose, nobody's uh, really scared of us gooses. Well, that's a relief, said Lucy. Come inside and have a cup of tea or some cake. Or do you think that's, do you think that's not how things are supposed to be? I'd love some tea and cake, said Bruce the Goose. Show me your happy faces. Let's see happy faces. Tea and cake. Mm -hmm. Yummy, yummy. Bruce followed Lucy along a pretty little path lined with lupins and over a gurgling stream that hurried its way across a bed of wonderfully colourful stones. Passing under an archway made of jasmine flowers, they arrived in front of Lucy's house. Mm. <gasps> Just then, something ran past him as fast as a flash. It was the bear. Then something ran past him as fast as a plane. It was the wolf. Well done. Then something ran past him as fast as a lion. And it was the lion. <coughs> <coughs> and they all ran into Lucy's house. Have you changed your minds? said Lucy, a tiny bit puzzled. Yes, said the wolf. I remember I love tea. Absolutely, said the bear. We adore cake, said the lion. How marvellous, beamed Lucy. Please stay as long as you'd like. Oh, we will, said her new friends. We will. What was outside? How do you think this dragon would have roared? Can you show me? One, two, three. 
<clears throat> Whoa! Eliza, you almost knocked me out. That was so loud. It gave me such a fright. So, everybody, that is the end of our story. Now, we can do this again tomorrow.